Hello everyone, it's Laura Moncrief from Bamboo Worldwide and welcome to this week's Woohoo Wednesday! I am so excited this week to share with you that our friend, our business colleague, and our mentor has yet another number one best-selling business book on Amazon.com. Here it is, Small Business Hacks, 100 Shortcuts to Success. And we're giving you a first chance to get this book now. Just click on the link below. Not only that, we're giving you a free chapter from the book, our favorite chapter. Boom, there it is, hack number 85. Barry asked us at Bamboo Worldwide to write this chapter on upping the creative of your team. And you are going to get this chapter free today as well. So check that out in the link below. This week is all about creative diversity and stopping, pausing to see, do you really have creative diversity on your team? Now this isn't about comparing if one person is more creative than the other person. This is about understanding the creative styles, the creative value system of each and every person on your team and making sure that you're enabling each person to shine from their creative style. So we have four questions, four challenge questions, that we'd like for you to ask your team this week. Okay, here they are. Question number one. When you're solving problems, do you like to use a set process, a set plan to logically go through it? Or do you like to jump in and see where your thought process takes you? These are very different styles. Which one do, does your team members require? Question number two has to do with the type of inspiration that you work best with. Do you like to use proven, data-driven details to solve your problems, or do you like to use unrelated inspiration, something unconventional? Again, a very different approach and value system to creativity. Tip number three. Three has to do with timing. When you're solving problems, do you find it more valuable to come up with a successful solution right now? Or is it more interesting to you to come up with a solution that opens up new possibilities for the future? Again, different motivations and the types of ideas that you would find valuable. And number four, the final one that we want you to ask your team is around rules. Do you like to use rules, leverage the rules to solve your problems? Or do you like to break the rules when you're solving problems? A very different approach from what you value. So four questions around process, inspiration, timing, and rules. Ask your team and see where they net out. If they're all the same, then you may not have a lot of creative diversity on your team. That's okay. That means you guys are gonna to work together well, fast, and effectively. You're probably gonna hum when you're doing problem solving. And my request to you would be to bring in some outsiders. Bring in some outsiders to really help expand and poke your ideas to make sure that they're thinking about them from a different perspective. Now, if your team actually said a lot of varied answers to these challenges, then you probably have created diversity on your team. And if that's the case, that's great. Now, your challenge is to accept that diversity, celebrate that diversity, by allowing them to actually create through their own style, not your preferred style, not the leader's preferred style, or the organization's preferred style. And once we can celebrate each person's value system, the way they like to approach it, the problem solving potential of your team will soar. All right guys, try these questions, read the chapter, tell us your thoughts, and next week we're gonna dive in further into actually knowing your creative style and how to identify it. Until then, keep it real.